Hello everyone, good evening. It's good to hear, it's good to see you. Unfortunately, it seems like you cannot see me. I have problems with my camera. Can you hear me? Yes, sure, we can hear you. Great, how's it going ladies and gentlemen? What can't you tell me? What's new with you? Tell me about it now. <laughs> Hello. I didn't I didn't hear you, teacher, because your internet is going too bad. It's my internet. You blame my internet. So yeah, what you're saying I, I is guess. that I, I, I guess your internet is much better than my internet. I don't know how much internet do you have to share. Oh no 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 no! no. That's a no <laughs> no 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 no! <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> How's it going, guys? I'm very happy to see you. I'm sorry. It seems like I have problems with my camera again. Um, I'm not sure if it's that I need to update something on Zoom or so, or, or so. but um. Maybe I need to change my computer for tomorrow. Tomorrow is the last day. So hopefully I can get it fixed. My apologies. My Don't apologies. Worry. That happens. I appreciate that. How are you doing, the students? Are you ready for one more day? Are you ready? Let's get it started. Let's call the attendance yes. now. Yes. Let's call Great. attendance now. Let's just start with Ana Julia Mayora Rodriguez. Are you there? Present, teacher. Byron Rafael Avelar Aquino. Present, teacher. Brian Eduardo Mundo Medrano. I am always here, teacher. Thank God. <laughs> yes. Carlos Fernando Portillo Rivas. Present teacher. Damaris Merari Marroquín Rivas. Present teacher. Daisy Magdalena Hernández Hernández. Present teacher. Elizabeth del Carmen Mejía Torres. Elmi Mauricio Salas Rojas. I am here, teacher. Elvia Sofía Pérez Castaneda. Present. Emma Jamilet Korea Madrid. <laughs> what what's what's funny? What's funny, huh? No, no, I, I saw a, a Mimi. <laughs> Are you saw a Mimi? Okay. Yes. Uh Giselle Cecilia Osorto Rivera. Josie Beth Abigail Miranda Chavez. Edith Rosario Benitez de Hernandez. Present teacher. Great. Joel Ulises Menjivar Mendoza. Josue Neftali Sibrian Hernandez. Karen Elizabeth Garcia Carpio. Manuel Alejandro Varia Arce. Marbeli Jocelyn Alemán de Santos. Present teacher. Monica Marisol Ramos Flores. Natalie Geraldine Flores Galdames. Nelson Rolando Melgar. I'm here, teacher. All right, Natalie, gotcha. I'm here, Monica. Oh, Monica, Monica, Monica. I'm sorry. Too, Natalie. Thank you, Natalie. In the house. How about Nelson? Are you here, Nelson? Oscar Eduardo Guardado Delgado? Yes, teacher. I'm here. <laughs> I'm here, teacher. I'm here. <laughs> all right. All right. Good to have you. Um, how about Pablo Reyes Pineda Alvarenga? Patricia Veronica Salazar de Morales. Present teacher. Are you ready for the exposition, Patricia? Yes, teacher. Awesome. Let's start with you tonight. How about Rene David Calderon Peñate? I'm here, teacher. Cool. 
Eh, Sandra Janet Vasquez Cortez. I'm here, teacher. Already. Sarah Maria Molina Cuvias. Saul Arnulfo Menjiver Crespin. I'm here, teacher. Indeed. Thank you for how responsible you have been throughout this module, guys. To me, it's very motivating to have such responsible students like you. Let's start teacher. with... Yes. Teacher. Yes. Yo tenía problemas con el audio, pero... Yo sé que ya pasó Elizabeth. Uh -huh. Sara. Sarah. I'm sorry, I didn't listen my name. Sara Maria. Got it, Sara. And what's your name, sir? Sí, yes. <laughs> How about the gentleman? What's your name? What do you say? Oscar, teacher. Oscar, it was Oscar. Let me see. Oscar, 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 Oscar. Oscar Eduardo Guardado Delgado. Got it. Present, teacher. Present in the house. Present. Oscar, what's up? Ready, Oscar? How are you? Us? Yes, I'm ready. Let's bring it on. Let's try to participate as much as we can. Here, can you visualize my screen? Yes, teacher. Great. We will develop skills and listening for main ideas. Now, personality traits. What do you think your personality is like? Can you tell me what's your personality like? What can I expect? Because this is this is a virtual class, but imagine we were presential if we were in person. I would love to have an in-person class with you guys. But what could I expect as far as your personality? What's your personality like? Any volunteer? Any volunteer to tell your personality? What do you need? What do you need to express what's your personality like? You need adjectives. Yes? Repeat adjectives. Adjectives. Repeat, guys. Adjectives. 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 Hey, but not, not just an adjective, it should be an adjective that describes personality. Yeah, can you give me examples of adjectives that describe personality? Can you brainstorm adjectives, please? Funny. Funny, yes. What else? Generous. Generous, definitely. What else? Bad Angry. Bad temper. Angry. Oh my goodness. Bad Angry. tempered. Bad tempered. Yes? Quietly, teacher. Quiet like me. Quiet. Quiet like teacher Kalev, huh? Quiet. <laughs> noisy. Noisy, definitely. Tokariv. Tokariv. On Tokariv. Attackative? Okay. What else? The opposite. <laughs> Could be happy. Happy. Oh my goodness. Happy should be Sad. there. Angry. Sad. Hungry. Serious. Hungry. Serious. Serious. Honest. Honest. Uh, punctual. Punctual. On punctual. On punctual. <laughs> oh, oh my good. Exciting. Excited. Okay. What else? Friendly teacher. Friendly. Friendly. For sure. On friendly. Elmer. On. Hey, are you going with the <laughs> negative adjectives by any chance? Yeah. Psycho. I'm a negative person. Oh Constable. my goodness. Okay. What did you say? I'm sorry. Repeat. 
Constable. Comfortable. Could be. Could be. Comfortable. Bored. Yeah. Bored. Repeat. Bored. Bored. What? Repeat. Short. Short? Mm -hmm. um, it short. is adjective or no? Yeah, it's an adjective, but it's not to describe personality. Short is to describe appearance. Oh, okay. Smart. Okay. Smart. Hey, what, repeat, repeat, repeat. Smart. Okay. Smart. Synonym of intelligent. Yes. Intelligent. What else? What else? Continue. Don't stop. Continue. Talk to me. Mad. 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 Synonym Mad. of angry. Synonym of upset. What else? Crazy. Crazy. Crazy? Gentle. Gentle. Mother in love. Gentle. Yes. Definitely. Yes. Gentle. Polite. Hey, how about how about polite? Polite. Wow. Professional. How about professional? Huh? It's good. Congratulations, guys. Thank you for the practice. Thank you for your participation. I can see you are very smart. <laughs> let's move on, class. Let's go and continue talking about the personality traits. Let's watch this video out and we will comment afterwards. She's okay. I just wish she'd learn to lighten up a little. What do you mean? Oh, she never enjoys a joke. She never laughs. It's hard to even get a smile out of her. Hello, which of these adjectives are positive? Which are negative? Listen, repeat, and decide. Listen and repeat. Bad-tempered. Creative. Critical. Disorganized. Efficient, forgetful, generous, hardworking, impatient, level headed, moody, punctual, reliable, strict. Now get ready to listen to four conversations. Then check the adjective that best describes each person. Okay, before we go there, we're going to listen again to the adjectives. Hello, which of these adjectives are positive? Which are negative? Listen, repeat, and decide. Listen and repeat. Bad-tempered. Repeat. Tempered. Bad-tempered. Bad-tempered. Excellent. Bad-tempered. <laughs> Bad tempered. Bad tempered. Do you know do you bad know the temper. meaning? Do you know the meaning of bad temper? You you have to know the meaning of bad tempered. Uh, do I have a volunteer who can explain in English what is bad tempered? Is a uh, positive oh, no, how can I say that? It's the opposite. Uh, is the opposite to say the patient. Okay, is the opposite to say? Repeat, yes. repeat. Is the, is the opposite to say? Patient. Patient. Correct, correct. Okay, okay. Uh, bad tempered. Any other volunteer who can explain bad temper? Who is a person that is bad tempered? Can you explain that, please? Any uh, hand raise? Yes, go ahead. Gets angry uh, easy. Is a person who gets angry easily? Repeat. Easily. It's a person, everybody, everybody. It's a person. It's a person. It's a person. Who it's a person. Gets angry. Gets angry. Gets angry. Easily. 
Easily. Easily. Easily. Easily. Yeah. Easily. Somebody said, somebody said, like my mother in law. Oh my goodness, my mother in law gets angry easily. Gets she's bad tempered. She's bad tempered all the time. That's just an example, okay? <laughs> <laughs> okay, next one. Creative. Repeat. Creative. What? Creative. 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 Excellent. Creative. Creative. The creative. creative, it's negative or it's positive adjective? It's positive. It's, it's positive. a positive adjective. Okay, I need I need three students who can explain what creative is in English. Raise your hands. Okay, Joel, can you explain what is creative in your own words? Creative is a person who likes to invent new new things like write some books or or make some pictures or draw I don't know how can I say dibujos? Drawings. Drawings, uh, things like that. Okay. That's all, okay. teacher. Okay, 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 okay. It's a person, right, who likes to invent, who likes to innovate. Yes? Innovate new things. For example, drawings. Making pictures, etc. Okay, Elmer, go ahead. What is creative? Can you explain that out? It's a person that has a good and new idea. Okay, it's a person who has new ideas. Everybody, everybody, repeat, repeat. It's a person. It's a person who has. It's a person has who has ideas. Good idea. New idea. Listen and repeat. Good Listen idea. and repeat. It's a person who has new ideas. It's a person, a person who has person new has ideas. ideas. Remember, remember, has is the third person for have. Yeah. Has. Have has. Excellent. 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 Thank you for your participation. Let's go with the next adjective. Let's check the pronunciation. Critical. Repeat. Critical. 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 Excellent. Critical. Excellent. Come on, come on, come on. Pronounce, pronounce. Critical. Critical. Repeat, critical. Repeat, repeat. Bad tempered. Bad tempered. Bad tempered. Crit creative. 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 Critical. 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 Now, critical, is it negative or positive adjective? Depend. It depends on. Okay. Any other opinion? Is it positive or negative adjective? <laughs> 50 and 50. 50 and 50. We have a <laughs> dilemma right here, guys. Come on. Yeah. Give your opinion. Don't be shy. It's different, teacher. And the uh, critical for good people and the uh, critical for... Um, Negative people is two two different situation. Okay, you have a point. Okay, you have a point. Let's just keep critical. Okay, let's just let's just keep critical. Let's go with the next adjective. Disorganized. Repeat. Disorganized. Disorganized. It's organized. It's organized. Disorganized. Disorganized. 
Now, guys, this adjective has a t, 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 t sound at the end. Okay. Organized. Organized. Disorganized. 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 Excellent. Nothing but excellent. If you put it the t, t, t sound at the end, that's a perfect pronunciation. Disorganized. 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 Is it a negative adjective or positive adjective? Negative. It's negative. It's a negative, negative adjective, so you need to put the letter N right there. I need to have three people to explain what e, what disorganized is. I want to see virtual hands raised now. Let's go with Oscar. Go ahead. It's a, it's a person who has a, a lot of things on the floor, in the bedroom, uh, in, in your office. In his office or her office? Uh -huh. Yes. It's correct. It's correct. It's a person who has all his or her stuff everywhere, right? On the floor, on the ground, very disorganized. Thank you for your opinion. Somebody else, next, next, next. Practice your English now. Go ahead. Hands raised, virtual hands raised. What is a disorganized person? For example, in the room, a, a drone while. Okay, in the room? In the bedroom? Yes. What happens in the bedroom? Um, is the book and different, um, how do you say objetos? Things. Things. Uh, in the in the room, a different. Uh, ha, uh, I don't know. Say in different lugares. Different places. Mirados in different lugares. How do everywhere, you say? everywhere. Okay, Ev everywhere. Yes, definitely. Yeah. Thank you, Iris. Somebody else. Okay, so we'll go ahead. What is a disorganized person? I think teacher is a person uh, who doesn't who doesn't have an agenda, for example. Uh huh. Definitely, definitely agree with you. It's a person who doesn't have an agenda. It's a person who does not planify ahead of time. It's a person who is always late. It's a person who is always impunctual, right? Yes, Negative teacher, adjective. I think that uh, we had an agenda uh, every day because we had to, to achieve uh, different things uh, on the rest of the day. That's true. I agree with you again. Remember that we have long-term goals and we also have short-term goals. And within the short-term goals, it's every day. Every day, it's a new goal for you. So there are many things to comply, guys. Life is short. We have to take advantage of every single opportunity. Let's go with the next adjective. Efficient. Repeat. Efficient. 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 Excellent. Excellent. You got it. Again, again, say efficient. Efficient. I like it. Efficient. I like it. Again, again, again. Efficient. 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 Okay. Efficient. Okay. Can you describe? I need two persons who describe efficient. I have Brian Mundo. Go ahead. Who mm -hmm. is an efficient person for you? Uh, it's a person. It's a person who can uh, who can take advantage about her skill, her, her or his skill, mm -hmm. or her or his uh, time. Okay. 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 Say. 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 Advantage. 
advantage. advantage. Advantage. Native, native speaking, advantage. 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 Excellent, you get it. What is the opposite? What is the antonym for advantage, sir? Disadvantage. 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 Advantage. Disadvantage. 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 Nice. Add it to your speech. Nice opinion. Thank you. Let's go with somebody else. What is efficient? Teacher. Yes, go ahead. Someone who does think well and very fast. Okay, is is someone who does things very fast? It's true. Is it, it, someone who works very fast but also does things correctly? Yes, yes. It's a person who works efficiently, who works very hard. Thank you for your opinions. Next adjective. Well, one question. Efficient, is it positive or negative adjective? Positive. Absolutely, thank you much. Next adjective. Forgetful. Repeat. Forgetful. 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 No, forgetful. Forgetful. Forgetful, is it positive or negative adjective? Negative. Is negative. it a negative adjective? Yes. Okay. I want to see two people explaining what is that? What is what is a forgetful person? Ra hands raised. Hands raised. Let me see. Virtual hands raised. Let me see. Use your English. Use your English or lose your English. What do you choose? Forget. Forgetful. Uh huh. Forgetful. Forget. Forgetful. When you don't remember uh, uh, nothing. Okay. When you don't remember. For example, anything. when you lost your, your case. When you uh -huh. lost you, your case, you. Your keys. <laughs> your keys. Okay. When you lose your keys, for example, that happens. That has happened to me. I don't know if it has happened to you. But yeah, okay. Thank you for your opinion. Every day. Somebody else, somebody else has an opinion about someone that is forgetful. When I when I uh, forget my my anniversary. <laughs> who who is a person who forgets? It's a person who forgets. Order your ideas. Order your ideas, guys. It's a person who forgets gets birthdays and anniversaries things. special locations oh my god this person forgets everything he is very forgetful thank you much now forgetful it's negative next adjective generous Generous. General. Generous. 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 I, 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 I honestly like this adjective very much. Generous is, is uh, to me, is a value that not many people have. You know what I mean? Because, because being generous is not easy, guys. It's not easy because you have to do it with your heart, you know? Sometimes we give things and we don't do it with our hearts. So it's important to do it sincerely, okay? So generous for me is very important. Is it positive or negative adjective? Positive. It's positive. A positive. Positive. Okay, cool, cool, cool. positive. So, could you explain uh, what is a generous person? Saul, we have his hands raised. Go ahead. What is a generous person for you? Okay, teacher. I think it is a person uh, who loves to help others. If you can, if you can tell me, uh, give me an example. Uh, I'm going to say uh, your name, for example, because you are generous. Oh, 
Okay, I appreciate that one, Sa Saul. Yes, definitely. It's, it's someone who is always, it is someone who is always willing. It is someone who is always willing to help. It's someone who teacher. always has a yes as an answer. It's someone that is very polite. Yes, definitely. Let's hey. hear, let's hear Elmer. Go ahead, Elmer. Uh, it's a person who always helps uh, other other people or other person. It's true. It's true. It's a very helpful person. Definitely. Mr. Mundo, you have an opinion? Uh, yes. It's a person who really enjoys uh, helping other people. Yes. It's a person who has a passion for helping others. Yes. It's a person who has developed that skill of, of not feeling uncomfortable when, when someone approaches him or her to ask for something. So it, it, that is priceless for me. It, it, not many people have, you know, that value, as I told you. Uh, thank you so much for your opinion. Wait, I have Oscar. Do you still have something to say, Oscar? Yes, it's a... He's a person who never says not. As an answer, yes. He's a person who never says no for an answer. Excellent, Oscar. Thank you very much. Now, we're going to stop right here, guys. Do we have any pending expositions? This is the moment. Raise your hand. Me, who has pending expositions? Okay, let me take note. Who's that? Natalie? Perfect. Okay, besides Natalie, who else? Hello? Besides Natalie, who else is pending? Me, teacher. Patricia. Okay, Patricia, I can hear you now. Excellent. You have you have microphone access. That's good. Okay, Patricia, Natalie, who else? Only two expositions for tonight. Is that it? Teacher. Yes. Uh, your fault. <laughs> Yes, Monique. Uh -huh. Okay, let me yes. put you down here. Eh, no, yo estoy sola. Alone, no problem. Perfect, okay. perfect, perfect. Somebody else? Nobody else? Let's start with Natalie. Are you ready, Natalie? Let's get started. Three minutes and a half, no less. Here we go. Hi. Good night, everyone. I'm going to talk about phrasal verbs. I know this is a topic that some of you have talked about before, but I think it's a really important topic because it helps us to sound more native at the moment of speaking. Why? Because natives use them a lot and it's more used in informal English. You can use them in formal English too, but it's not as common as informal. Now, what are phrasal verbs? Well, phrasal verbs are verbal structures that are compound by two particles. What particles? First one is verb plus an adjective or a preposition or um, a verb. You can separate some of them, but the, most of them can be separable. Why? Because the meaning changes. So, if you want to know if a phrasal verb is separable or inseparable, you have to look for them in a dictionary. 
a good dictionary will tell you if the verb is separable or not. Now, I'm going to give you some examples of separable phrasal verbs. First, it's getting dark. Do you want me to turn on the light? Now I'm going to tell you separate. It's getting dark. Do you want me to turn the light on? Uh, if you notice, the phrasal verb turn on can be separable, putting the noun between the verb and the adverb. An example of a phrasal verb inseparable could be, I lost my glasses. Can you help me look for them? If you change the order of the words, that could mean other things. Now, an important thing to know about phrasal verb is that you can't translate them word by word. Because if you try to do that, you won't be able to catch the meaning of the phrasal verb that will make no sense. You have to, if you want to translate a phrasal verb, you have to do it the two words together because already you wouldn't catch their meaning or their, their use. Normally, phrasal verbs are used for defining some specific actions. And as I said before, native speakers use them a lot. It will make us sound more natural, more fluent, if you know a lot of them because there are hundreds of phrasal verbs and you have to know that just one verb can be used in more than one phrasal verb because of the preposition or the adverb that is used with them. Now I'm going to give you other examples. This one is a separable phrasal verb. He looked the word up. She looked up the word. As you can see, I separate the words word and up in the, in the first example. An inseparable example would be, I'm looking for my keys. I cannot say I'm looking my keys for because that will have another meaning. I think that's all. Terrific, terrific. I really liked your exposition, Natalie. Uh, you did it yourself, right? Yes. You're not working with a partner? No. Nope. Why not? I was supposed to work with Elmer, but because of his work, I think we couldn't work together. That's, That's true. Previous. I have a question for you. Yes. Okay, so if your topic is phrasal verbs, what is your favorite phrasal verb so far? I think I can't choose just one because as I mentioned before, there are too many phrasal verbs. Okay, so you, can th you can't think of a favorite one because there are too many. Yes. You like them all. <laughs> okay. 
Not a problem. Thank you so much. You comply with the time required. That was almost five minutes, Natalie. Uh, congratulations on that side. I can see you really try to sound as much natural as possible. Um, it was very difficult for me to find any mistake or, or correction um, to bring up right now. Uh, I just caught one correction when you said the meaning, the meaning changes, the meaning changes, interperson, yeah, the meaning changes. Other than that, uh, there was no PDF presentation, but the rest was amazing, okay? Uh, you gave a lot of examples, you gave a lot of uh, information, and as I said, you have a lot of um, good pronunciation. Your tone of voice is great. So my best suggestion is to continue to keep connection with native speaking activities so you can sound even better than what you sound right now. Congratulations. Thank you. Okay, let's go with the next participant. And that's going to be Patricia. Are you ready, Patricia? Yes, yes, teacher. Let's do it. Okay. Is the second part. Yep. Yeah. Well, uh, is modal plus subject plus verb in base four. Would you like some time to bring? Could you take a look at me and homework? Will you give me my money back? Can you buy me a soda? Uh, when using models of breakers, we can place please either after the subject or at the end of the sentence to make the sentence more polite. Would you play? Would you please shut the door? Would you shut the door, please? If when if when using models of breakers, we'd like to ask someone not to do sometimes. We can place not before the verb. Would you not speak so lowly? Would you not smooth here? Um, we can answer the case using short answer. Short answer have a very simple structure. To answer affirmative, we, you, we, we use yes. And then we add the appropriate subject pronoun and the modal verb can or will. To give a negative reply, we use no appropriate subject pronouns and modal verb can. Will, could, can, will you come with me to the store? Yes, I can. Yes, I will. Lo siento, no me cargaron las. La presentación. No problem, no problem. Go ahead. That's it? Yes. <laughs> we could improve your pronunciation. Camino, no me puedo salir de aquí. Compartir la pantalla. Sure. Sorry, Space. No problem, no problem, Verónica. It's all right. I am, I appreciate your effort, Verónica. Um, 
Uh, we have some corrections like polite, polite. Uh, request. And reply. Okay, my best suggestion means is to um, try to listen to songs in English and practice those songs. Sing the song and transfer the lyric into Spanish so you can get more vocabulary. And that way, sing the song so you can improve your pronunciation as well. Thank you, Chair. Do you have any question, Patricia? Not teacher. Okay, great. Let me go with the next participant. That's going to be Monica. Are you ready, Monica? Yes, teacher. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you well. Uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, the topic that I am going to present to you is infinitives and gerunds. Okay. A gerund is a verb from that ends in ing mm -hmm. and is used as noun. For example, walking, traveling, boring. An infinitive is the base for of a verb proceeded by to. For example, to walk, to travel, to walk. Gerunds and infinitives can function as the subject of a sentence or the object of a verb. Um, infinitives and gerunds are noun forms. If used before the main verb, they are the subject of the verb. After the main verb, they are the object of the verb. If a preposition is used after the verb, do not use an infinitive. If a common expression and squid a preposition, then it may be followed by a gerund. A gerund is a verbal ending, ending in ing that is used as noun. A gerund phrase consists of a gerund plus modifier or modifiers, object or objects and or complement or complements. Gerunds and gerund phrase virtually never require a quotation. A three types of infinitives. Uh, the infinitive as for other forms. The perfect infinitive, the continuous infinitive, the perfect continuous infinitive, and the passive infinitive. The function of infinitives. An infinitive is a verb which function as a noun a, a noun, adjective, or adverb. The structure of infinitive is to plus verb. Um, five function of gerund. Being used as noun, a uh, gerund can function as a subject, a sub complement, a direct object, and direct object or or a, an indirect object or an object of a proposition. 
five types of gerund. One, subject. Two, predicate. Predicate, nominate. Three, direct object. Four, object of preposition. Example of gerund sentence. Swimming is my favorite sport. After taking a bath, I felt fine. Uh, getting up early is a good habit. Having to get up early won't bother me at all. Uh, an example or uh, infinitive sentence. She was too tired to work. I had too many books to carry. This soup is too hot to eat. And he arrived arrive too late to see the actors. This has been my exhibition. Thanks for your attention, teacher and classmates. Excellent, excellent. Thank you. Okay, I'm getting your scores. That was, oh yeah, you made the time required. And perhaps we could improve your pronunciation. I think that's the biggest uh, weak point you may have. Um, only required and required. That's the only correction. Then I only have compliments for you, Monica. Uh, what you could do maybe is participate a little more in class. That's something you could do. And also um, you could keep the connection with the language because your objective now, Monica, is to improve your, your pronunciation and your fluency. It is very important because you are very intelligent. You have a lot of information in your head. So it's moment for you to sound natural and to sound like a native speaker. That's what call centers want to hear. Naturalism on your speaking, okay? Okay, teacher, thank you. Nice job. Do we have um, any other people, person pending of expositions? Yes, no, maybe? Okay, tomorrow is the final day, guys. Um, if you still owe an exposition, I will highly suggest you to comply with the sure. exposition tomorrow. Go ahead. Uh, me, Rene. Uh, Rene, yes, tell me, Rene, what happened? I don't know if, if you if you help us uh, with uh, a question about the 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 knowledge check in the in the in the platform for the platform issues in the 5.4 5.4 okay put me on the chat i'm gonna check for you okay okay thank you yep put it on the chat and i'm gonna reply back to you okay okay in, in the whatsapp or in the in the WhatsApp, yes, in the WhatsApp, in the WhatsApp, in the WhatsApp. Okay. yeah. Okay, thank you. Let me call the attendance real quick, ladies and gentlemen, so we can finish with one more day. Again, 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 let me call, the, let me see, Ana Julia Mayora Rodriguez. Present teacher. Byron Rafael Avelar Aquino. Present teacher. Brian Eduardo Mundo Medrano. I'm here, teacher. Thank you much. Um, Carlos Fernando Portillo Rivas. Present teacher. Thank you. Damaris Merari Marroquín Rivas. Present teacher. Daisy Magdalena Hernández Hernández. Present teacher. Elizabeth del Carmen Mejía Torres. Here I am teacher. Excellent. Elmer Mauricio Salas Rojas. Present teacher. Elvia Sofia Perez Castaneda. Present. Emma Jamilez Corea Madrid. Present. Giselle Cecilia Osorto Rivera. Present teacher. 
Joshi Beth, Abigail, Miranda Chavez. Here, teacher. All right. It is Rosario Benitez de Hernandez. Present, teacher. Okay. Joel Ulises Menjibar Mendoza. Present, teacher. Already. <laughs> Josué Neftelí Cibrián Hernández. I'm here, teacher. Okay. And then Karen Elizabeth Garcia Carpio. Manuel Alejandro Varias Arce. I'm here, teacher. Sorry, I couldn't be in the beginning of the class. Hey, Manuel, um, are you happy to have the exposition tomorrow? Yes, tomorrow is my day. Woohoo! Super duper. Okay, uh, people who are pending, you will do it tomorrow. Don't forget. Okay, thank you, Manuel. I can wait to see your exposition tomorrow. Let me just go with Marbelli, Jocelyn, Aleman de Santos. Present. Monica Marisol Flores, Ramos Flores. I'm here, teacher. Thank you much. Natalie Geraldine Flores Galdames. I'm here. Thank you. Nelson Rolando Melgar. Present, teacher. Okay. Oscar Eduardo Guardado Delgado. Present teacher. Pablo Reyes Pineda Alvarenga. I'm here teacher. Okay, thank you. Um, Patricia Verónica Salazar de Morales. Present teacher. Okay. René David Calderón Peñate. Present teacher. Thank you, René. Sandra. Janeth Vasquez Cortez. I'm here. Okay. Sarah Maria Molina Cubias. Present teacher. And Saul Arnulfo Menjivar Crespin. I'm here. Thank you so much. I appreciate it, guys. I appreciate your attendance. Thank you for being there on the other side. You know, tomorrow is the final day. So I hope. Oh, everyone, each of you connect to the class tomorrow since it's the final day and we have fun with the last part of the platform information and also the rest of the expositions that we, start, we still have going on. Do you have any question, any comment before we go? Okay. Needless to say, I will see you guys tomorrow at 8 p.m. Night, night, everyone. Sweet dreams. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye, 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 bye. everyone. Good night. Good night, Good night. Good night. Be safe. See you tomorrow then.